Hi, so as you can see from the title of this video, this is the PS2 controller to PS3 controller adapter that I got from AliExpress. Very cheap, small item. There's very little to it, as you can see. I guess there is some circuitry in this plug, on in this PS2 plug on the end here. Uh, not much, obviously. And the other end is a USB 2 plug, as you can see there, A-type. So this does only work with PS2 controllers. It does not work with any type of PS1 controller, joypad, whether it's a standard one or a DualShock or anything like that. So when I show the uh, setting up, I will be using this PS2 controller here, which is just a bog standard DualShock 2 PS2 controller. Um, now there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to use this adapter with something like this Hori Fight Stick 2, which is a PS2 arcade stick, um, which just has a standard PS2 plug on as you'd expect. And that fits perfectly into the adapter as any PS2 style controller will. Here is the device on AliExpress. As you can see there, £1.33. So as with any object that you're buying on AliExpress, don't buy the first one you come across. Just do a few different search strings, look at suggestions alongside your results and what have you. And maybe you'll be able to find one for even cheaper than that. So there's my mister on the left. Um, and here is my PS2 controller. Now, before you uh, start, just make sure you've got a USB keyboard because you will initially need that to use the menu system and what have you on the mister before you've configured this to work. So it really is just a simple case of attaching the adapter to the PS2 controller, plugging that into one of your spare USBs on your mister, plug your keyboard into another spare USB on the mister, and then you plug the whole lot into power and your TV. And I'll be taking you there right now. Right, so I've got my mister hooked up to my capture device. I've got the USB keyboard plugged in and I've got the PS2 controller plugged in via the adapter. So this adapter works by making your PS2 controller appear as a PS3 controller. And as you probably know, uh, a wired PS3 controller is something you can use on the mister. So I'm going to use the, the keyboard. I'm going to go to define joystick buttons, press enter on the keyboard. So I'm going to pick up my PS2 pad, press right on the D-pad as it says there in the middle. And now we are going to map the analog sticks. Um, so it, this would obviously mean you've got to make sure your analog function on your PS2 pad is turned on. Make sure your red LED is showing next to your analog button on the pad. So I'm going to flick my left hand analog stick to the right. And that's worked. Flick it down. Now another little tip here is when you're mapping the analog sticks, make sure you flick them very quickly. Don't hold them in any one direction for too long because it can override to the next mapping and uh, you get in a real mess. So I'm going to flick the right hand analog stick to the right as it says there. I'm going to flick the right hand analog stick down very quickly. And that has worked because R on the D-pad which you can see flashing there is the next mapping I would have expected to come up. So I'm going to go through this very quickly. I'm sure you've done this before. I'm just going to map all the buttons as you can see in that diagram on the PS2 controller. Down, up, and triangle for X and square for Y. Um, L1 and the final flashing letter R there is R1. And I'm going to do a select and start. I'm going to skip past all these mouse functions because we're not interested in those but we do want to do one after these. So I'm going to go through those by hitting space on the keyboard which I'm doing now and we are looking for menu so this is the one. So as a PS2 controller doesn't have a home button on it or kind of a general center function button like you'd expect to find on an Xbox One controller or any other kind of standard USB controller. 
I'm going to map the menu function to my left hand analog stick click down and that does work so I'm now going to click down on my left hand analog stick and it has recognized that now I don't need to do any more mapping so I'm going to press enter to finish as it says at the bottom of those options there enter to finish on the keyboard so that's it my controller is now mapped and I'm moving around as you would with any controller just using the PS2 controller so another little uh, good bit of practice which is not something that relates directly to this controller but any USB controller is I'm just going to go into scripts and make sure that fast USB polling is turned on if you don't know what this is it tells the mister to poll your USB controller at the maximum rate and uh, it ensures the least amount of input latency possible and I can happily confirm that fast USB polling on does work with this adapter and a PS2 controller so that's some good news there so uh, fast USB polling is already on so I don't need to actually hit go on that as it will reboot my mister so uh, just take that as granted that fast USB polling is on so now we're going to play a game that's all there is left to do really isn't it let's go down to a arcade game that I've been playing today it's only recently been added to the mister which is something I'm very happy about as it's an old favorite of mine and this one is Nemesis also known as Gradius so let's get this one running and I'll see you in the game So I have had to go back to using my mobile phone to do capture in the actual game because unfortunately this core for Nemesis doesn't seem to like my capture device. But anyway, so we started up this game and I'm going to press the left hand analog stick right now. And as you can see, that has brought up the menu, which is what we uh, configured when we were mapping the buttons. So from here, it's just a case of doing what you would do with any core. Define your buttons in the perfectly normal way. I don't know if it's coming through very well, but you can see there, press left, press down, press up. So I'm just uh, defining my buttons with the PS2 controller for the Nemesis core. Option button, fire button, bomb button, start, coin, pause. Crank in some credits. And here we are playing Nemesis. So, uh, in conclusion, just some things to remember. Um, it, this does work. This adapter and a PS2 controller does work with fast USB polling, as I showed you. And uh, it, the general performance is great. So, um, I normally use a Xbox One controller with the Mister. And I, using this PS2 controller with the PS3 adapter, I'm not noticing any difference in the performance, not any added or any less input lag or anything like that. So this adapter, for a small price of like two, $2 or £2 or whatever, I would say I can wholly recommend it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.